This is the Washington Times front page for Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Harvard President Claudine Gay has resigned after only six months in office. Valerie Richardson reports her tenure was rocked by her handling of campus anti-Semitism and a plagiarism scandal that called into question her fitness to lead the nation's oldest university. Gay, a political scientist, assumed the top job on July 1st, making her presidency the shortest in Harvard history. She'll resume her position on the faculty. Calls for her resignation spiked after a December 5th House committee hearing at which she and two other university presidents said that whether demanding genocide for Jews would violate their conduct codes would depend on the context. Provost and Chief Academic Officer Alan Garber will take over as interim president while Harvard searches for a new leader. Tucked inside the National Defense Authorization Act signed by President Biden last month is a provision directing the Pentagon to study the effects of psychedelic-assisted therapy on veterans, specifically those suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder and other invisible wounds of war. Ben Wolfgang reports the legislation directs the Department of Defense to partner with federal and state government agencies or academic institutions. It says the Pentagon may authorize any member of the armed forces serving on active duty who is diagnosed with a covered condition to participate in a clinical trial using psychedelic-aided treatment. The inclusion of the provision in the NDAA underscores the rapid shift on the issue in Congress and the broader American public over the last few years. Proponents of such therapy say the inclusion of the provision in the bill is a watershed moment. South Korean opposition leader Lee Jae-myung was attacked with a knife during a campaign visit to the country's second-largest city. Andrew Salmon reports minimal news was available on the attacker, who approached Lee saying he wanted an autograph before stabbing him near the neck. He was attacked as he visited an airport construction site in Busan. Lee, who heads the left-leaning Democratic Party of Korea and is widely expected to make another run for president in 2027, was on the campaign trail ahead of April parliamentary elections. Voting rights activists and state Democratic Party officials say the way the Maryland General Assembly uses appointments to fill vacancies is undemocratic. Mallory Wilson reports watchdog group Common Cause Maryland says nearly half of the state lawmakers from Montgomery County and a quarter across the state were not elected before they were first seated. When a state senator or delegate dies, resigns, or is disqualified, the governor appoints a replacement. The state central committee of the same political party as the legislator who vacates the seat submits the appointee's name. Critics say the process gives political parties more power than voters. And finally, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas told Congress that the southern U.S. border was under control, but then reversed himself by saying it's never been under control. His Border Patrol chief suggested he got it wrong. In closed-door testimony to the House Homeland Security Committee over the past year, Stephen Dynan reports the chiefs of the Border Patrol's southwestern sectors said the border is undoubtedly not under operational control. One chief said the border used to be, but is not anymore. House Speaker Mike Johnson is leading a delegation to the border as he and the White House jockey for leverage in make-or-break negotiations on a national security spending bill, as well as potential impeachment proceedings Congress could levy against Mayorkas. Find all today's front-page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front-page or on the Washington Times app, and find us wherever you get your podcast. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on social media at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.